Once your organization begins utilizing Pulsa, you'll want to ensure all necessary team members are invited to use the dashboard and have the correct permissions. Currently, there are five different role types, billing admin, user manager, editor, viewer, and most recently added, limited viewer. Starting with the highest role, we have the billing admin. Users with this role have the maximum amount of access. They can view, manage, and receive invoices, can add, edit, and manage all users in an organization, can add, edit, and manage all Pulsa hardware and hardware details. People within your company that might have this role type would include the head of your organization, accounting leads and controllers, and operations managers. The next role we have is user manager. User managers can add, edit, and manage all users in an organization, add, edit, and manage all Pulsa hardware and hardware details. They can create alerts and add subscribers. The main difference between the user manager and the billing admin is users cannot make any billing changes. People within your company that might have this role include operations managers, dispatchers, and lead technicians. Editors are users that can make changes to Pulsa hardware and hardware details. They can also create alerts and add subscribers. This role is perfect for users that care about editing individual sensor and hardware details, but do not need any of the higher permissions that a user manager or a billing administrator might have. Examples of users within your company that might be an editor would include technicians and delivery drivers. Next, we have the viewer role. As the name states, this role will grant the user visibility of the dashboard only. They will not be able to make any other changes to the system other than creating alerts for themselves. Lastly, we have the limited viewer role. This role provides visibility only, but in an even more limited capacity. Any internal notes or images that have been added by your company will be restricted to this user. User with this role type may include on-site operators or end customers. Now that we know more about user roles and their capabilities, let's talk about how each role can work together and share responsibilities in the Pulsa dashboard. Let's say you have a new installation. A technician with an editor role can set up the sensor from start to finish. They can add notes and images of any recent changes to the site or hardware and keep their team in the loop. Once the install is physically complete, someone back at the office with a user manager role may wanna double check the new sensor details. They can make any corrections as needed, editing the name or product information, but can also set the sensor up for success by creating level alerts and adding alert subscribers to ensure no alert goes unseen. More about alerts in upcoming lessons. Lastly, a salesperson with an editor role can share access of the sensor with the end customer to provide an extra set of eyes. This level of customer care can build additional trust in the distributor. As you can see, while each person completed just a step or two, having different users contributing helps managing the dashboard be more manageable. A structured procedure like this can help keep things organized and ensure all necessary actions and details are completed. Stick around to learn more on ways to spread the dashboard workaround and help keep your dashboard organized and efficient. Thank you.